watching KOB Eyewitness News. Are you still recovering from the holidays? In so many ways. Yeah, me too. I think I've got like a couple <laughs> I was going to say the way <laughs> that I still have to lose. Well, maybe you enjoyed the get-togethers, but you're kind of sick from all that spending you did. And if you are, don't worry. You can take comfort in the fact that a lot of people are in the same boat as you. Our Emily J6 found, though, it's the credit card companies that are really making out big this year. She went to see how you can keep more of your money instead of handing it over to those guys. The tree is down and the decorations are packed up. Now the post-holiday headache is setting in. Average American spends like twenty-four, twenty-five hundred for holiday spending over a year. That's a lot. That is a lot of money. And many of those presents went on plastic. Gage Kemsley with Oxford Wealth Management says shoppers' jolly attitudes kept them swiping at the registers, adding about $1,000 to their credit card debt. That can kill you. I mean, if you're making just minimum payments, it could take years before all of that holiday holiday loan is paid off. Kemsley says if you want to bounce back from those holiday purchases, you have to stop the financial bleed. My parents used to say, put that card in the freezer somewhere where you can't access it. You don't think to grab it. He says make a realistic plan for paying off the debt fast. If you're short on cash, consider a side job like driving for Uber. But we're filing our taxes right now. Mm -hmm. When you get that tax refund back, it might be a good opportunity to use that to pay down a little bit of debt. And if your debt is spread over several cards, Cards, consider a loan for your loan. As a matter of fact, a lot of credit card companies will offer these uh, year or two year loans that offer lower rates than their credit cards do, and that might be a very effective way to get out of debt. Emily J6, KOB Eyewitness News 4.